Hello guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to create an automatic table of content like this from an existing content like this. This story consists of 5 chapters and each chapter has 2 subheadings. Now to create its table of content all I have to do is that I have to click on each chapter and then go to home and make it heading 1. This is necessary. You have to use these headings 1s, heading 2s and heading 3s. Now each chapter I will define as heading 1. Chapter 2 again I will click here make it heading 1. Same for chapter 3. Now if I go up here and I will go to next line. I click on reference and then I click on table of content. Left click here and then choose any one of the style. You can see the table of content has been generated. But what about the subheading? For the subheadings of each chapter, let's say this is my subheading number one. I have to click here. Then again, I have to go to home and I have to make it heading two. Again, this is also my subheading. So I will make it heading two. Now I will do this for each chapter. Now guys, I have converted all of my subheadings of each of the five chapters into heading number two. Now, if I come here on my table of content, you can see it's not updated. To update it, left click anywhere in your table of content, then left click on update table and you can see a menu has pop up. Since we have made changes in the text. So we have to click on update entire table. Click OK and you can see now each of my heading 2 is appearing as subheadings. Now guys, one more thing. I don't want these heading 1s, heading 2s to appear because I have made them to just for your understanding. So I will remove it. Now again, if I come up over here, you can see I can still see these heading 1 and heading 2s because they have the table of content has not been updated. So again, I have to left click here. Then I have to left click on update table and I have to update the entire table by clicking OK. You can see all of them have been removed. Now, what about the page numbers? Because in most of the cases, we want the chapters to appear on the next page. So in this case, I also want them to appear on the next page. For it, I have to click here at the start of the chapter. Then I have to go to layout. I have to click on break and I have to click on next page. This is why I have to do for all the chapters. Again, for chapter number two, same thing, break, next page. Chapter five again, break, next page. Now, if you see here again, the page number have not been updated. So left click here again, left click on the update table. Since we only have changed the page number, we can click on update page number only and click OK. Now you can see the page number have been updated. Plus guys, one more thing. If you want your chapter headings to change, you can simply come to home. You can right click on your headings, click on modify. And if you made any changes over here, you can see they are updated instantly. Now for heading two, again, the same procedure, right click, click on modify, change and click OK. And you can see it has been updated everywhere. Now guys, the last thing that is left, I don't want my chapter one to start from page number two. I want it to start from page number one. For this, you can watch my tutorial start page number from a specific page in Microsoft Word. I will put its link in the description. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, give it a like. If you love it, subscribe to my channel, share my videos. Keep creating guys. Bye bye.